All right, welcome back to Williams Corner. I'm here with sad R Red Wings fan, Ryan Garcia fanboy, whatever you want to call him. Uh, we just finished watching one of the most boring fights of our lives, Yori Arcus Gamboa versus Devin Haney. We did not watch the undercard this time because DAZN cannot fool us. The bastards. What did you think of the fight? I, I want to take a nap. Okay. I was watching college football in the background, and I'm like, this is more exciting, watching college football, than watching this. Well, okay. Um, full disclosure before we get in. Uh, Gambo, I have a huge bias towards Gamboa, so any criticism that comes his way, I will immediately refute. Uh, call me biased in the comments. I don't care. Gamboa is my guy. I've loved him since he won an Olympic gold medal. So, um, yeah, but... Let's get into the performance, because De Devin Haney won by a large decision. Like, he basically yeah. swept the fight. Um, I don't know what else to say. He said he was going to knock him out, and he didn't. And He said he was going to knock him down four times. He didn't even knock him down once. Gamboa, actually, I'm going to be very fair to Gamboa. He showed that he has a better chin than a lot of people thought in this fight. He got hit with some decent shots in that fight and didn't go down, and he's known to go down pretty easy. But he didn't show much, and I wanted to see more of the old Gamboa in this fight. Yeah. I... What can I say? It was so boring. I wanted to get a nap. I actually wanted to go to bed. I, I was like, I'd rather sleep than watch this fight. Well, I got, I got hockey in the morning, so. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, just, I'm watching it, and I'm like, so when's this guy going to come into the middle? And Haney did a great job of technically fighting, of doing technical fighting where he kept him back with the jab because he's the bigger fighter. Yeah. But Haney, you said you're going to knock him down four times. You said you're going to be, do better than Terrence Crawford. Uh, you did jack shit. Yeah, I, I think to, well, to be fair to both of them, they're both coming off injuries. Yeah. Uh, Haney with the shoulder, Gambo with his Achilles. So you have to be give credit there. I also talked to you before this fight and said that it was a travesty that Gambo even made it to the 12th round against a <laughs> guy like Gervonta Davis. Yeah. Because we just saw what he did to Leo Santa Cruz, and I'd say Leo Santa Cruz is a better fighter than Gamboa at this present moment. Yeah. So, you know, I think this is the issue with young fighters: is that your favorite guy, Ryan Garcia, is that when he's Ryan Garcia you know, would have done more in this fight than than Devin Haney. Well, no, it's just that he seizes the moment. He makes people talk yeah. about them. Devin Haney, his last two fights have been absolute snooze fest. Because I think the last time you you've watched him before, because he was on the KSI Logan Paul undercard. Oh yeah, he yeah, was, and that was fest. a snooze fest too. Snooze fest. He, like it's it comes to these fighters like Billy Joe Saunders, also on that KSI Logan Paul two undercard snooze fest. You have to make yourself stand out when you're trying to get big fights. And yeah. the thing about the best guys in lightweight, lightweight is stacked. You have Ryan Garcia, who made a name for himself with big, big performances. Big knockouts, big knockouts. Tiafimo Lopez, same thing. You have, like, that division is stacked. Gervonta yeah, Davis. Yeah, Lomachenko's, Lomachenko's going back down to 130. But, yeah, you still got Davis and... And, and uh, Tiafimo Lopez and... And Terrence Garcia. Crawford. Terrence Crawford's 147 now. But, oh, okay. Um... Re Again, remember, he's, so. remember he's fighting Kel Brook, your favorite fighter now. Fucking hell. Um, how can I forget? Next but, weekend, yep. How can I forget that? Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, thank... I, I'm really glad that we decided to do boxing on this channel because now uh, we have to sit through this pain of watching tomato cans get beat up by actually good fighters because that's all that seems to get booked nowadays. <laughs> you know, it's, we, started, we started with an absolute banger and then every fight since has just been terrible. Like, well, I wouldn't say Davis versus Santa Cruz was terrible. No, Lopez, Lopez versus Lomachenko yeah. was we, like you a... put my expectations up here, well, and now they're just like, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> no, um, I think also Devin Haney. It's clear to see that he's got that special something though, and he's 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 got yeah. that he's got that it factor. He's training with the Mayweather's. He's probably going to become one of those defensive fighters with a di but yeah, probably that's, with... yeah, that's what you saw in this fight though. You saw him with a little bit of pop with that defensive style. And goal credit to Gamboa. He got in there and he landed more than I thought he would, if I'm honest. Some decent shots and more than I thought he would. And, you know, I don't, I think that just proves, like, I think Gamboa is oh, all time, like, when we look at his career, he was barred by circumstance his whole career because he got his big fight, lost to Terrence Crawford, and has been, he's a very entertaining fighter. Before now, but he's a 38 got old year old guy. Three year old with, guy, like <laughs> with a torn Achilles, coming off yeah. a torn Achilles. Like you can't expect much from that. And 
I, I just put this down to matchmakers because what I would do with Devin Haney is put in a tough guy who's going to move forward and take a ton of shots against him and not and not shy away from that. Because I think what we saw with Gamboa is that he was shying away because he was worried about his chin and he was worried about getting knocked out again. Whereas you put in a young, fiery guy in there that will fight. Like a, like a who, who was the guy that uh, Garcia fought? Um... Lenara? No. No. Um, what's his name? Duno? Yeah, do know. Put in someone like do put in um Jorge Linares. Um, yeah. Put in someone like Linares in against Haney because Linares is going to be a good technical fighter. He knocked down Lomachenko. Linares knocked down Lomachenko in their fight. Okay, but, give me give me this guy. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Knockdowns. I, mean, I even want this guy. Linares also got knocked down twice by Lomachenko. I don't care. He but knocked him down. I don't like, give a. Fuck. Someone like Linares is not going to shy away from this fight, and Haney that gives Haney the opportunity to look good. That's the issue. Is these matchmakers are setting the zone, these guys up. The to zone. Fight. Okay. You've done the it zone. again. The zone. You've done it again. The You've zone. done it again. You've done it again to me. The zone does this because they're like, oh, we're just gonna lose our most exciting star and put our best up and coming prospects against guys that are gonna make them look like shit. Like, this is terrible fighter management. I have nothing else to say. Devin Haney should be fighting some tough Mexican dude and knocking him out in six rounds after a war. That's what he should be doing. He's 22, he's 21 years old. Oh. I know you don't. I love listening to the thing. It's like Devin Haney, when he's 17 years old, fighting this one Mexican guy. He goes back. He's like, I'm fighting the same guy. What the fuck? Yeah, no, it's like, but that's the thing is Devin Haney's been through that fire. He started as pro at 17. Like the best fighters, a lot of times, either have crazy amateur records or crazy, like, strong pro starts and Devin Haney did it through the pros Canelo did it through the pros in Mexico Canelo started fighting pro at 15 years old in Mexico like like Devin Haney's done the same thing he's fought tough guys in Mexico starting at 17 so you know just think about that just think about that well when you were 15 years old what was I doing yeah, think about that. I think I had just quit hot competitive hockey at 15. Yeah. <laughs> just think, just think, how, how, like how skinny were you oh my god I would have been like what 96 pounds? Yeah, but think about it. <laughs> think about how young you are. And think about Canelo, a 15-year-old guy like you, fighting against grown men. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I'm assuming Haney was probably, like, the same size as me back then, too. Yeah, days, so. <laughs> Devin. Jesus. <laughs> I'm a skinny dude. So, no, like, yeah, I think this just show, goes to show that DAZN had an idea to try and make this an exciting fight. And all credit to them, I think Gamboa has put on some very exciting it, fights it, in the period. On the, paper, this was supposed to be an exciting fight. In execution, it did not work out. I think out it's because they expected Gamboa to actually to, come to out. To go in. He expected him to go be, in. To be aggressive. But I think yeah. the thing that he He was needs... afraid of the chin. He's afraid of the chin because Javante Davis knocked him down. Terrence Crawford's knocked him down. He's been knocked down a lot. Yeah, and I think, well, also, you have to uh, get that aggressiveness out of guys, because you, you have to get that fight-or-flight mentality going in, guys, when you're fighting them. Like, Haney didn't do anything that yeah. made me think, you're going for this. Like, yeah. he landed the odds. Until, like, until, like, the 11th, 12th round, where it's, like, his corners, like, get in on the punches, and then you saw Gamble actually getting some yeah. nice punches in, because he was actually trying to go for stuff. And then that hole in the 11th round, I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah, he'd throw, the, me he'd throw the body jab and then throw the jab to the head. And that was basically yeah. it. And he'd move and hold. And, like, you're just what saying... Say? You're just what saying... Say? You're setting yourself up to be, like, another guy. Just what another guy. Say? Hell, and Devin Haney talks more shit than anyone. That's else. what I mean. You want, you want to always say? is like, I always say this. Back up what you say. Yeah. And he did not back up what he said. I get he was in, he got, came back from a big shoulder injury. But like, if you're gonna say all that shit, you gotta back it up. Well, Devin Haney's been uh, better at talking shit than he has been at fighting for a long time. <laughs> and like, I think this is the issue: is that <sighs> Devin yeah. Haney is theoretically a world champion. And I know there's like two WBC belts at lightweight, or how many there are, because Lopez two has, million. Lopez has one, and Haney has one, and there's I think two million, Garza apparently. Garcia has one, or something like that. I don't so know. I'm there's like. Too many. There's so, too many. That's how many. Yeah, but anyway, Devin Haney isn't the champ. Anyone who says David Haney is a champ is wrong. Tiafimo Lopez is the only champ at lightweight. Maybe Gervonta yeah. Davis, if you want to count that as well. I would probably say well, no. Ryan Garcia. <laughs> no, he's not. He hasn't. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm he kidding. hasn't fought anyone. Come on now. Yeah. Uh, he's going to fight. No, he's, he's going to fight Luke Campbell. Campbell. That's please. A, that's a good fight. Please. That, please. That'll be please. a good fight. Please be better than this. Hey, Caleb. Please. Caleb, I will bet you. Here. 
just write this yeah. down, okay? Yeah. Uh, we will do a video on this if this comes to fruition, if Caleb determines yeah. that this is a le uh, is another snooze fest. I will take you out to dinner. You can buy what uh, uh, $50 maximum. I will take yeah. you out to dinner, and I will pay for you if yeah. Luke Campbell versus Ryan Garcia is another snooze fest. It better not be. Like, it can't be. Please. I need a fight that actually brings me excitement. Like, Javante Davis and Leo Santa Cruz brought me some excitement. What was this garbage that I just watched? Gervonta Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz had more excitement in one round than this fight had in 12. Yeah. yeah. Like, seriously. I, I feel like... Usyk, I, I, literally, I literally, after two or three rounds, I'm like, well, Usyk versus Chisora is more exciting than this fight. Yeah, you did say that. <laughs> you did text me that. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this? Give me Usyk and Chisora every single time, because at least, like, Chisora was, like, at least going for stuff. Well, I so think I think also exciting. you were bored, more bored for the Usyk Chisora fight because you actually watched the undercard. Like I didn't. Oh my god! I, Death. I, I just rolled upon. Thank God we didn't watch the undercard for this fight because awful. Uh, did you yeah, watch it? it? No, I just saw some like some of the people yeah. fighting for a couple of rounds because I had it up and I'm like. I know uh, Hergovic was fighting. Maybe. I oh, Hergovic check. knocked the guy on like the sixth okay, round. Okay, yeah, okay, good. So good, another heavyweight prospect gets a knockout. What a surprise! But like, What's, basically everybody knocked everybody out. Tonight, except, except for Haney. your great man, uh, Devin Haney. But yeah, I know I'm a big Gamboa fan, and I will always you, be a big like, Gamboa fan. But he's 38 years old. Give the man a break. No, Devin Haney should be going out there and Devin stopping Haney's him a... in four rounds. Devin Haney, I hate you. I hate you. I really hate you. I mean, that's because you're a Ryan Garcia fanboy. No, I just hate him because he he literally bored me for an hour. Like I could have been doing much better things with my life than watching that fight. I could have been sleeping and getting ready for hockey tomorrow morning. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, that's another week of us going through painful boxing. So you don't have to. I think that's what we're gonna have to start calling this show is because I said I, originally this channel was gonna be covering my favorite sports teams. And I was like, okay, what are my favorite sports outside of the Big Five? And I was like, okay, I like boxing. Uh, might start doing F1 next year, uh, which will be a lot more fun because Caleb actually knows stuff about F1. But, um, but you know... A little I, bit. I like a little bit more. No, you know more, a lot more about F1 than yeah. boxing, for sure. But, but um, you know, boxing was something that was getting heated up with Lopez and Lomachenko. I was like, you know what, let's get this going. And now every fight since then has been fucking shit. So, well, not every fight, but... You know what? This just this just makes me super excited for like Errol Spence versus uh who or versus Danny Garcia and Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Pulev. And I know where, where it when is that? Because I need I need excitement in my like life. In a month or something. <laughs> Give me excitement! Holy fuck! I can't take that. But yeah, this has been Williams Corner, another uh, episode of boring fucking boxing. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is Ryan Garcia fanboy and your Yorkist Gamboa fanboy signing off. Thanks.